Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today, like I promised, I was gonna do a monochromatic version of the Draw Your OC um, series and I never actually did it so I'm gonna do that now. I actually have the hashtag pulled up on my phone so we can go through it. Um, if you guys are interested in submitting your OCs, I will check this hashtag every so often. So you can submit your OCs by putting the hashtag RenSpiritDrawOC um, onto any of your OC um, artwork that is on Instagram. I am Billy. Bleh, bleh. I'll be only checking on Instagram as that's my most preferred social media to easily access a lot of things. So yeah, make sure to not tag me or anything like that. Um, just make sure just use the hashtag. I will not be checking tagged posts that have me tagged in the post or anything. Like, you know, if you go into here, you click on the little tag thing. I'm not checking those. So please make sure to just follow what i've said and just put it under the hashtag as i will be searching for the hashtag every so often um to do videos like this but this one i did promise to do which um would help um give a better chance to the people who submitted any kind of traditional artwork um that do not have color because um the previous ones that i've done all had color and that's because um, i was planning on doing kind of like colored sketches of the people's um ocs as you can see these are the ones i've done before like these ones these six so yeah um yeah so today i'm going to be doing the monochromatic sketches i'm going to be doing it on this background and using just this purple so this is the purple that i've always used for um sketching everything and you guys will get to see me use the wet brush a little bit more today just because that is my method that i'm going to be using to do some of the values um i think that's about it so we're just going to start um so i'm going to be looking at only the black and white photos or photos that are not colored for this um just because it just gives you guys more of a fair opportunity and you guys don't have to color your ocs for you guys to submit your ocs if that makes sense Oh, she's cute okay so i think we're gonna start with the first one which is from teal2118 and i know this person frequents my instagram a lot so or like comments on my post so thank you very much for the support and yeah let's draw their oc first these are probably gonna become a little bit more sketchy than the other ones i've done so i'm not sure if i'm gonna really clean these up or not it's really windy once again So, what should I talk about while I'm sketching these? Can't think of what I should talk about. I feel like, in terms of the order of the videos, I think I said I was gonna talk about high school stories and all that jazz, just because I've witnessed some <laughs> weird stuff or experienced some weird stuff as a person who's very shy or um, kind of like almost always watching stuff that happens during school, just because like, I'm usually not involved, but I- because I'm always in the vicinity, not by choice, um, I witnessed some really dumb stuff. <laughs> Maybe talking about some high school stories. So I think I already mentioned this, but I went to a private school. Um, my family's not like wealthy, so there's like a lot of bougie kids, um, at this school. So kids who- whose parents has money. Um, but my parents were very adamant for me and my brother to go a very academic-driven school. So they thought a private school would be the best choice. And for their um, demise, I guess, it wasn't exactly the best choice for me. I feel like, um, if anything, it pushed me further into just doing art instead. Just because of the environment was very stressful and very... Um, I don't know, I just didn't really like the people there. The people there were very, for the most part, a lot of them were a little bit snobby, kind of. Mm, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like, you know, like, the idea of like popular girls or like jocks, kind of like that kind of, like those kinds of people, if they're 
pretty much like on their own very tolerable very nice people but once they're together i don't know what's wrong if it's like the hive mind or something they're like unbearable <laughs> Um, there might be a little bit of like bullying stories, not exactly towards me per se. I did witness or experience a little bit of teasing here and there, but because I don't pay them much attention, I never really got like the real brute of it, I guess. So if this is something that bothers you, um, you can mute this video and every time I introduce a new character or finish off a character, I'll talk a little bit about uh, the character, the process, or who I'm choosing next. So like I mentioned, I went to a private school. Um, we did have to wear uniforms for... Um, yeah, we did have to wear uniforms. I actually didn't mind wearing uniforms. It just made it easier for me to not have to worry about like um, picking clothes or anything. So Because everyone looks the same, basically. So at least that was a plus. Uh, just but to give you context, I was always the quiet person and my group of friends tends to be kind of like the misfit group Even like some of my friends even said that before so it's not like me thinking like oh hey we're outcasts or something Like a lot of my friends even called themselves kind of like misfits So we were kind of like the weird group of people who like kind of didn't fit in with the jocks or like the girls who like to talk about fashion and go like to parties and all that jazz, right? So a lot of us were more um, academic driven or into art, into music, a little bit more on the geeky side kind of thing. We had a few floaters, so some people who can go into either groups. But yeah, so I was probably the quietest out of the whole bunch um, of us. There was quite a few of us. There probably maybe 12, 13 of us that were in that group. Um, but I was only close to maybe two or three people. I don't consider them very close friends, nor do I stay connected with them at all. Um, both of my closest friends and, um, yeah, all my closest friends were either from my, like, junior high days or my, um, they're friends of my close friends, basically. Like, my two best friends were- they went to the public school literally across from the private school that I went to. So I could actually see them sometimes after school if they came over and decided to hang out. The person who was closest to me, she was the one who actually first approached me. And apparently she wasn't as well liked among some people. Um, she's a little bit more out like outspoken, a little bit loud. Um, I don't know why she wasn't exactly liked. I just didn't really like that she was, um, constantly, it felt like she was just, like, trying to attract people's attention. And for me, as a person who doesn't like attention, I didn't really like that. Um, but it's not exactly a flaw for her. I feel like it's just, like, our personalities didn't mesh as well. But for some reason, she wasn't really liked among some of the other people in my grade. I, just not, I was just not interested in people in general, so so I think I talked about this a little bit in the other video, but I have to say it again here because it won't make sense. I wasn't really bullied, I was teased just a little bit here and there, but um, most of the teasing came from the girls that were a little bit more like malicious. Like stupid things like um i believe like since my parents own a chinese restaurant i decided to help contribute to our multicultural festival which you can bring um foods from other cultures so no one was bringing any chinese food so i decided to bring you know like dumplings and all that jazz and then there's like these two girls and they literally came up to me because i was running the stand because i was part of um the group who's running the multicultural festival during the lunch break and because i was running that um, the girls came up to me, there's two of them, and they just literally said, like, so is that from, like, your parents' restaurant? And I'm like, yeah, and they're like, wow. And I literally did not say anything after that, and they're just looking at me, and I'm just like, okay. And then they leave, and I'm just like, wow, okay, that was the end of it. Like, they had nothing else to say, because I'm assuming they thought I was gonna make, like, a bigger reaction, but I didn't. Hmm... There's not too much. A lot of the guys treat me very nicely, I guess. 
so they never really picked on me like the closest would be is like i think it was raining and we were playing soccer so i had my hood up during gym class and this one guy would always come up behind me just to scare me <laughs> or like he would just be like taunting me but it was never in a, like a malicious way because he even i don't know that guy is that guy was a bit weird for some reason my grade was like the test subject for this new thing that they wanted to do we were split into three groups and According to the counselor, the counselor was trying to split up all the friend groups as much as possible. And we would sit down for two hours and we everyone has to open up. Oh, there was actually one girl who also went to the same middle school as me. So um, luckily she was also in the same group so she could kind of vouch for um, people actually did kind of pick on me a little bit in junior high. It was never like really bad. So it was hard for me to even think about anything because like sometimes I feel like I live in a bubble. Um, especially at school not now but like at school so like people don't see the need to involve me into things which i am totally okay with whether or not it's good or bad but um luckily my friend who is like my one of my best friends now um she was the one who approached me so um i'm very thankful for her very thankful um and my other friend who um, who's my best friend as well. She's very much always trying to accommodate for me. So I always try my best to make sure I'm always looking out for the both of them as much as I can because they're always doing their best to accommodate for me or to, like, to include me, so... Okay, but back to the story. So like we were put into this weird experiment where everyone has to go in a circle and like say sorry to one person basically. And because I wasn't close to anyone, like there was... Or no, you have to say sorry if you had anyone to say sorry to, basically. That's how it worked. So it could be, had to be somebody from the group, though. And because these were random groups that they try to separate any friends and stuff, they were trying to make sure you were targeting, base, not targeting, making sure that you were aiming for apologizing to people that you made of harm that were not your friends, basically. Yeah, like some people had really heavy topics that they were struggling with or... Um, actual bullying from other people. Some people had weird stories like someone just shaved another person's eyebrow because they were dared to so they told the other person to pencil, not pencil it in, use like a sharpie marker to put in their eyebrow. I would always wait by the back door and just wait for my mom to pull up so we could go home and then um, this guy who always exits from the back door, he always says bye to me now. Like after that experience, he always said like, bye Joanna, like bye, or like have a good day, and like he always says stuff at the end, and it's always weird because he's always with these other people, so it's like people who don't know me that well, so there's like a lot of like the popular 11th graders who would be like looking at me weird like who is this girl that he's talking to, and I'm just like what the heck, because I don't know what's like, like I said, I don't know what's his intention because he never said bye to me before, and suddenly now he's saying bye to me, okay. So, for two, two, one, one, eight. So I'm just gonna do kind of quick doodles like this so we can do as many as we can. Um, but we'll see how long this video is gonna be because now that I'm like talking about us, like a lot of stuff, I'm not sure how well this is gonna go. Um, Just quickly going through and finding one that I would want to draw. Mm. She does have a colored version, but the ones that are mostly submitted are these black and white ones. So we'll do this one maybe. So this is for Tetniko. Tetniko. So another weird one was that there was this guy in my English class. So I've had I had I think a few classes with him. This is how it would work. So in my English class, you would have to have, um, I swear my teacher implemented this because I didn't talk in the class and she was trying to force participation. So she put a little piece of paper on the board and it had our, all of our names on it. So you would actually have to hit five times. So you have to have, you have to talk at least five times. So like you have to raise your hand and say something basically like something to contribute to the class. And I think you need five times and then it will help boost your participation mark in that class. So she did that. And I think there was one time we were discussing a book and I was trying to talk, but I couldn't because there was like, it was like a heated discussion, but I actually had something to say. And 
I, I kept raising my hand or like trying to butt in and I couldn't because when I'm really nervous, my voice gets even quieter, which kind of sucks because apparently I do talk quietly. Um, so people tell me to speak up, but this time I was talking even quieter because I was getting more and more nervous. And this guy who is like, if we're, we're sitting like this, so there's like a row of desks here and a row of desks here and a row of desks here and the teacher's right here and she has like this podium thing so i think it's four people per per desk or not desk like row of desks so our private school is very small like it was maximum i think maybe 14 people per class but usually it was like 12 ish and at, like at minimum there's like maybe eight kids because in our graduating class there was only 84 people in our senior class including one in grade 11 because he was a lot smarter than a lot of us um so i was sitting here yeah i was sitting here he's sitting here right so he was watching me struggle the entire time and then he like puts his hands down the desk and like slams and gets up and he's like guys shut up joanna's trying to talk and he just calmly sits back down and that makes me freak out even more because now everyone's like looking but like i'm i'm glad he did that <laughs> but i wish it wasn't as like you know as abrupt as obvious but it was very nice like he noticed that i was trying to talk so that was very nice another one was like it's the same dude by the way this this one now um so in grade 12 we were paired up with a grade 4 student so this actually blows my mind actually so by the time they're nine years later, so 2014, nine years. So they're gonna graduate soon, which is like baffling to me. Yeah, they graduate very soon. So I guess she's in high school now. Um, so we were paired up with a grade four student of the same school branch. And it was me and my friend were paired up with this one girl because there was not enough. Um, we had too many grade 12, so some of us got paired up. And I'm glad I got paired up with my friend and this uh, this this very tiny cute girl, adorable. And she was twins too with another girl, so it was very adorable. Um, but she loved arts and crafts, so that was a good pick. Um, so we were drawing with her. I actually have the note that she gave me. Let me see if I can find it actually. Okay, so I found it because I, I like to keep stuff like this. So I'll cover up my friend's name. Um, but she drew this for us. <laughs> Um, she was doodling in art class because we had basically they would travel to each class with us so we had like an assigned class and we would shuffle into different classes that the high school had provided and we had art as an option so she drew this so this cute and then after we walked the stage for our graduation as well they came to visit us too which is really cute um, so she wrote everything here I'm just gonna cover up her name but she wrote this to me is cute um during lunch period we actually have a senior lounge for our school i don't know why we do so we would sit there with our buddies and because there was like only enough chairs for maybe half our grade so including the buddies into our into the student or the senior lounge there was not enough seats so i was like crouching at the table while I let my buddy eat and my friend was sitting because I let her sit first because I said like I oh it's okay like I don't need to sit <laughs> the same guy I don't know what's wrong with his like why his eyes can find me so fast but um he literally gets up and I hear this because this guy like he has like no um he's like he seems very aggressive he gets up from his chair so it makes a big noise and I see him grab his chair and he sets it right behind me and just puts it down. He's like, sit. And I'm like, oh, no, it's okay. Like, I don't need to sit. And he's like, sit. And I'm like, okay. And then he leaves to go to a classroom. Like, I think it's like physics classroom or something. And he grabs a different chair. So he grabbed it too. I think he grabbed a couple of chairs actually. So other people could sit. But I was just like, dude's intimidating, but he's very nice. I'm sure this guy probably thinks like I'm super dumb. He's like, this guy, like, she can't go grab a chair for herself. Like, we weren't there for that long, so I didn't find it necessary. But I guess he did. 
then no one get the wrong idea like he's he's a very nice person but I'm, i know he wasn't like interested in me or anything like i'm pretty sure none of those boys were they just they were just very nice for some reason because like i said like i don't think they're bad people by any means sometimes when they're in like i feel like a group they have that weird hive mind where they're like oh i need to show off and like um show how cool i am by showing my dominance over other people but i feel like that's mostly a lot of the girls there's some boys like that there's a lot of boys that were a little bit rowdy i don't know it's just like it was like the first time seeing like a lot of those guys actually felt sorry for other people after seeing them like for a year being like super rowdy really obnoxious like this is the type of people they are um one guy was sleeping in the senior lounge because there's a couch in there and the senior lounge isn't like a room it's just basically like lockers on one side here's like a door to a gym there's like a bunch of tables in here and there's like a balcony thing and like it kind of stretches across like this and there's like a bunch of tables like a bunch of tables and then there's a couch here and a couch here i believe and there's like a window here like there's like a fake wall um and this guy was chilling like nearby the window sleeping and all these guys just literally came in they moved all the lockers from the main hallway upstairs main hallway and they moved it so that this sleeping guy on this couch was just surrounded by lockers like this he was just boxed in like they moved like 10 lockers to surround him and it's stupid it's like these gigantic big blue upright lockers oh not blue they're red i think for school pranks we even had like dead fish in the girls um bathroom it was just like covered in foam so you couldn't see it so when you started washing your hands with the water the water would like slowly uncover all these fish like raw fish in the sinks i'm pretty sure i'm gonna mention this in the other video but um to show you guys how quiet i was in school i think i mentioned this before i must have have i told somebody about this but um during my senior year i was eating lunch which is or no i wasn't eating lunch i was in the senior lounge because i had spare and my friend didn't have class that day so she was hanging out with me in spare and in spare because i have spare and then i have lunch which is weird but um that's how my schedule was this tall football guy right he was part of our misfit group so or he's kind of like a floater so he's in the misfit groups and kind of with the jocks as well um but he came in he comes in with this giant pie he sets it down he looks at me and my friend because um my friend and him are friends um i'm more like an acquaintance or not even i don't like i've had one class with him i think but he looked at us and he's like so you guys want any pie and my friend's like oh yeah like i'll take some right and i was like oh like no it's okay like i don't like i don't really like sweets right and then this guy is like oh my god i've never and i thought he was gonna say never found a person who didn't like sweets right or like likes pie and this guy's like i've never heard you speak before and i'm like okay hi <laughs> and like this is during, during our senior year so yeah my art teacher always gave us opportunities to showcase our art um so she always asks us to participate in the art um what do we call them art gala art the art show i guess it's like an art show and grade 12 can put three works in i think per category so i put two into i think the value or like gray tone pencil artwork and i put one into mixed media and this kid wouldn't like <laughs> he kept bothering another teacher and this teacher like i worked with this other teacher just because um she's our club supervisor or one of our club supervisors so we're kind of like in a kind of like a committee thing like a school committee and so this teacher knew that i drew like i drew i, I draw stuff i draw i like art and this kid who i've never had a class with so i don't mind that he didn't know who i was so he's like hey miss s 
like look at this isn't this so cool like look at this like i don't even know who this person is but like look at their drawing like look it's so cool right and my teachers like the teacher was like oh like this is the artist like this is her stuff and he's like oh like are you are you in, are you in the 11th grade <laughs> Because this was a dress down day, so we could wear anything we want because it was after school hours. And I'm just like, no, I'm in, I'm like a senior. And he's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like, I've never, I've never seen you before. I don't think we have ever had classes. And I'm like, yeah, we haven't. <laughs> that sounds funny. But like I mentioned, like a lot of the, like what you would consider the popular girls, a lot of them are actually very nice, like on their own. Every time I had to do like a project with one of them, and they weren't surrounded with another, um, one of their friends or anything. They were very, very nice, actually. She also has, like, um, bat wings. I don't know if I have to make this a lot more hair. It looks like a lot more. Like it's like a lot thicker. Now it's getting really sunny. Hopefully you guys can still see. Let me see if I can do this lightly. Hopefully you guys um like using this brush. I know some people said they had a hard problem using this brush, but you really have to use very little pressure. Um, if you want to use the brush really lightly. That or you should turn down the opacity even more uh, if you're a little bit more heavy-handed or change your pressure sensitivity or pressure curve a little bit. But you can see how like I really like using this to add value. It's really, to me, it's like easy to use this brush because it's mostly focusing on using values and looks really similar to kind of like ink wash, which I really enjoy. I think if you guys don't mind me doing more monochromatic ones, I would definitely do more. I feel like, yeah, I just really like sketching. So I'm finding these really fun. Like everyone has the stress of um, trying to finish as much as I can in like an hour. Did I? Not an hour. I gave myself two hours, I think, per, per OC, I think. Or did I do it? Oh, I gave myself one hour, I think. Yeah, I gave myself an hour for these ones before. Um, but yeah. I love blending this out. Start off dark. And slowly feathering it outwards. And you can do that all in one brush stroke, which is really nice. I love this brush. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I didn't write the name. Hmm... T U T N I K O W. Okay. Hello? Okay, let's do another one. Mm -hmm. Very cute. This is from the same. Oh, wait, no, this is from someone else. Ah, you have very cute characters though, Teal. I'm just making sure I have... I can probably do one from this person first. So which one do I want to do? I like this guy's hair. <laughs> so let's do this guy. I actually don't know what color his eyes are, so... Um, we're just gonna have to make do with that. I'm trying to think of the other stories that I wanted to tell and I don't remember. I'm gonna tell the one about when I was in junior high, so... This is why I always think, like, my class is, like, the worst class. Oh wait, no, now I remember. So, in high school, um, I was in my math class. So this is, like, math 30. Because I'm too dumb to do math 31. I did not want to do calculus in high school. My class is very rowdy. Like, I told you guys, like, um, a lot of the guys in my class are very 
very rowdy. So, uh, for some reason, our math class had a lot of the rowdy boys all in one class. I don't know who made that class up or if there was just enough of us to be, not enough of us, but like enough of them to be in one class that they couldn't split them up somehow. Um, our class was so rowdy. They weren't listening to her. They were fooling around, making dumb jokes. She was trying to do a lecture. Like, she was just trying to teach a class and like a lot of us were paying attention but a lot of them weren't um so it got to the point where she literally broke down crying like she just started breaking down crying and the whole class just felt bad like even the guys who were being rowdy didn't think that was gonna like this wasn't gonna happen or anything um they went they didn't mean to i'm pretty sure they felt bad they were just dominating the class um from how loud they were being how rowdy they were being and she broke down crying and everyone just like went silent um when she collected herself back up she literally said like um okay if you don't raise your hand you're not allowed to talk um everyone has to be as quiet as joanna and i'm just like okay please do not single me out <laughs> Um, but that was how it went and that lasted literally for maybe 15 minutes um, she knew that the class thrives on interaction and stuff so she wasn't able to leave the class like super qu dead quiet basically so she took down that rule and everyone just had to be respectful but that's the first time I've ever seen a teacher cry out of frustration because like the class wouldn't listen but yeah um but i'm always thankful for that teacher so at the end of the year when you um, graduate your teacher will gift you a book and this one was like the little the little tugboat that can or the, the train that could or something like it was something like that it was like a children's book and she was the teacher that wrote in my book which is really nice oh, let me see if i can find it i'm i'm like i always keep everything okay Here's the book. I'm gonna cover up my last name so you guys can't see it, but this is addressed to me and this is the book. Um, this is a children's book. Um, I'm gonna cover up the name. I'm gonna read it to you just because I actually forgot it has, she has the school name in here. So it says, Dear Joanna, I appreciated your hard work and your patience with classmate and your, your commitment to this club. Like It's like a community um, committee type club. Um, courage does not always roar. Sometimes it is the quiet voice that makes a difference and brings success. Good luck as you embark on this new journey in your life. Be true to yourself. Live your dream. I always knew you could. And this is my teacher's name. Um, but yeah, she was always very sweet to us. So I really don't feel like drawing hands today. So no mic, I guess. Maybe that'll be the end of the stories until I think of another one. I feel like I can probably think of another one from junior high rather than from high school. High school was like... I don't know what high school was. <laughs> Very weird. Like, I did have some fun moments that I enjoyed in high school. Like, at our graduation ceremony when we all like dressed up and all that jazz, I think. <laughs> um, we were all dressed up in our grad... like our grad gear so like we're all in our dresses and some people in tuxes and stuff and it was really cool i don't know where i left off now it's super dark um where's my pencil i think this is supposed to be like a k-pop oc i love like asymmetrical hair i kind of want to make um design another character maybe sato's boyfriend or some just one-off character that has more like asymmetrical hair but I want like an OC with like dark blue hair, like really navy hair. I think that'll look really cool. I don't know if it's because I've been working mostly on other stuff that requires like more um, poses or coloring that I feel a little bit um, tired and I kind of just want to do simple sketching. Which might be just like these really simple headshots. So I don't know how the color of his eyes, but I'm just gonna color it in like this. So if you can, when using this brush, like if you want like a solid area, try to do it in one stroke. Um, don't lift up your pen until you're done because it'll make it easier to make things a little bit more blended and the edges a little bit more cleaner. 
I just hope people will actually read. I actually really like this hairstyle. I think it's really cute. I love like, like we were really close and short sides with long bangs. I think this looks really cute. Or like long bangs with just shaved sides. Okay, so should we do one more? I think this guy's mostly done. I'm gonna add a little bit of value to his hair. I can't tell if he's supposed to have light hair. Um, okay. So that's three. We can probably squeeze in one more. Since these are a lot faster. So let's look for one more. Let's do night. So this is by Pastel Wolfie. Pastel dot Wolfie underscore. The concern about wind is always like when we have to take out our recycling. I hate when like the recycling bin like cracks open cracks open and then like paper might fly out because I have a lot of scrap paper and stuff and I forgot to post the other ones so maybe after I finish these ones and post these ones um maybe I'll make it a batch and just post all of the request ones not requests what are these called um draw your OC pictures all together Apparently he's a vampire, so let's give him things. Let's kind of make him look like he's cocking his head to the side. Just because there is one pose in this little compilation that I can show you. It looks like a very, like, almost cocky, condescending way. <laughs> make it loop into their shirt, because I'm assuming that's how it is. I guess that's kind of the fun thing about drawing other people's OCs is you kind of get to interpret their design a little bit. Kind of like a hair piece going like this. And then a big swooping piece. And then, let's see. But let me know what you guys want me to talk about in future videos. Um, Cause I could always tell more dumb stories if I ever can think of any more. I'm just gonna darken up some of these lines in here and then we can add the values. So it looks like his eyes also can't tell. <laughs> can't tell if they're lighter, if they're dark. Um, so let's just do half, I guess, for this one. Got a little bit of shading underneath the hair. I'm just gonna make a little bit of assumptions here that the belt buckle is a different color. Probably can get a little bit darker. So every time you layer, we'll get darker and darker to a certain point. I think that is it. So let's do a quick run through and then I can show you guys all of these. Oops, I didn't write the name. Wait a second, I keep forgetting. Wolfie we'll underscore. Okay, so we have this is the first one. Really cute. I love the short hair. I think it looks really adorable. So number one. Her neck is long. Wait a second. The neck still looks a little bit long. Um, that's okay. So number one. Oh, we didn't even number. So number two. So two females. And then two males. Yeah. 
so hope you guys enjoy watching me um draw these characters or sketch them out and hopefully listening to me ramble for a little bit i'm not sure how i'm gonna edit this it's like um i think it's two hours and a half no uh, i think i have about two hours of footage i think i need to cut down so yeah hopefully i can do so without making these stories sound too weird um but thank you very much for watching guys and i'll talk to you guys next time bye